a new year. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we miss you so much, and it is almost time. Just hold on. Keep reading the Bible. Keep yes. watching the videos. It's almost time for us to get back together. Listen, we're What's coming up? back together soon. We miss you so much. And when you guys come back, we're going to see who's been really watching these videos. Okay. Because look at me and Miss Nastashi, we've been putting in this work to make sure that you are are getting the word of God. I know that's right, because we love you. Yes. We overly love you. We love you, love you, love you. Love you, love you, love you. Love you, love you, love you. You're like, I love you. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I love you, too. But please don't blow my hair up. OK. Uh, <laughs> babies. So today, we are talking about. What are we talking about? Ants marching. Wait, ants marching? Ants like, marching. Like, you're talking about the little critters on the floor? Uh, yes. Mm. Ants marching. That's our Bible story today. Mm -hmm. We're also going to be talking about the bottom line which ants make sure that they do. They work hard. And ants are very interesting, Miss Nastashi, mm -hmm. because ants are sometimes overlooked. Oh. Mm -hmm. They are so overlooked. Mm -hmm. People just be stepping on them. You know, I, I, can't, I, I can't step on them. You know, I, I, you I know what? I, I, I'm sorry. I have to say this, Miss Nastashi. Mm -hmm. I step on ants sometimes. <laughs> well, you need to look and pay attention where your big feet are going. Look, 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 somebody's right there. Look, 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 they're putting their hands over their mouth. They're like, oh my God, Mr. Ramsey, I do the same thing. Don't feel bad, just pray about it. Right, yeah. killing ants. Yes. I can't believe it. Ooh. Oh, wait. Hey! All these ants! Oh my goodness, do you see them? <laughs> <laughs> Ramsey, you're supposed to pat. Oh, don't hit him that hard. Just get brush him off. Get off of just, me, Joey. Just, <laughs> Joey is the. <laughs> <laughs> you be knowing their names, too. I be, do, I be giving them names. Child, ants be everywhere. Mm. But you know what? Talk People don't know how special ants really are. Mm. Ants do a lot. So this memory verse for this month, yes. before we get deeper into it is, suppose you can be trusted with something very little, then you can also be trusted with something very large. Mm. So I'll say that again. If you can be trusted with something very little mm. and you take care of it, then you can also be trusted with something very large. And I love that because, you know, sometimes kids, your mom tells you, your dad tells you, your parents tells you to clean the room. Right. Something so small because they want to see, okay, if you clean your room and you handle that responsibility, man, they can give you something bigger that can lead to a great allowance. Like a PS5. Come, mm. Woo! If only you just make that better. Come on. Clean that room. Come on. What, what else y'all be like? How about good grades? Good grades. Good grades. Parents look just like God loves to bless us yes. and take care of us. Your parents do too. Yep. But give them something to work with, people. And God can use your parents to bless you. That's right. But if you're having a hard time following the small rules, right. what about the big rules? Right. So, for example, mm -hmm. Ramsey, you know that you want a puppy. <laughs> you talk about the puppy like Arf? Help or Clifford Jesus. the Red Dog. Help us, Jesus. Don't nobody <laughs> want Clifford big old self walking around the house. <laughs> Clumping and bumping in the stuff. Oh, Clifford. Now, nah, we ain't talking about Clifford. What, who are you talking about? You and Clifford could be cousins. <laughs> but that's not who we're talking about. L let me use you an example. Talk to me. Let's say you really want a puppy. Mm -hmm. And you keep saying, Mom, I want a puppy. You know I want a puppy. I want a puppy. I want a puppy. I'll take care of it. But you leaving trash by the trash can. You walk in the house, you take your stuff off and leave it on the floor. Wow. But you talking about you want a puppy. You ain't gonna get no puppy like you that. No, you have to prove that you can handle the little things mm. so that you can get a big thing, like a puppy, and but you, not clever. You know what's amazing too? And Tell I me. just saw this, that it's amazing how God created ants mm -hmm. and everyone has the rules of life. Right. Like. He's going to give the ants what they need, right. but he also sees what the ant is able to do with what he right. gives them. Did you know mm. that an ant can lift 50 times its body weight? Ants don't have ears. They what? hear by feeling vibrations, tiny movements through their feet. Their... What? They feel vibrations through their feet. They don't have no ears. No they ears. can't even hear you coming. No. You... Hi, Joey. Wake up. No matter how loud you yell, 
Joey can't hear you. And guess what else ants do? What? Have you ever seen a wounded ant and you see the other ants picking it up to, to help it? Yeah. That's amazing to me. But guess how they know that it's wounded? Mm. Mm. Wherever ants go, they leave behind a special smell. A special smell. The smell trail tells them to know where they've been and how to get to the food they found. They use that same smell, that scent, to help wounded ants out. Wow, isn't God amazing? Y'all can't tell me God ain't real. Come on, God. Y'all can't tell me it, God is not amazing. And that's crazy because every insect or every little critter, every animal, every human being, God uses differently on how they respond to each other. Right. It's bananas. Wow, bananas. It is literally bananas. It's wild. So they don't have no ears, mm -hmm. and they leave a smell mm. so that they can find where they're going and where they've been. Mm. They use that to help other ants. And look at that, Mr. Ramsey. Mm -hmm. It says the largest ant nest ever found was over 3,700 miles long. Oh, it says that's wider than the entire continental United, United States. States. Now that's crazy. That was crazy. That's crazy. I'm sitting here like, wh wow. Whoa. It's amazing how God just do these things. Ants have so many jobs, and most importantly, taking care of the ant eggs and babies, mm -hmm. finding and gathering food, yeah. and building the ant hill. So for them to have an ant hill that is the total size of the United States, yeah. these little bitty ants. They're, they're amazing. They're but, amazing. But that's why the Bible says in Proverbs, talking about trusting with the small things before in, before trusting with the large things. Look at how ants are managing the small things, how they're taking care of each, each other, loving each other, supporting each other. And this is huge. What are you doing as far as how you're supporting your friends, how you're supporting your family, how you're taking what God has given you on a small scale to handle on a big scale. And you know what, Mr. Ramsey? Just thinking about these ants, they are a true example of how we need to be. Mm. I, I, let me tell you, let me tell you. So I, a lot of times I go to kids' basketball games and I'll see one of the players bump into another player from the opposing team mm -hmm. and they'll walk past them. If they knock them down, they'll walk past them. And every time I see it, it hurts my feelings. But every now and then, I get a glimpse of somebody who has the ant mentality, mm. who stops, helps the other team member up, and keeps it moving. And that's a good question. <coughs> are you that Sorry. ant that passes by and not help, even though you know that you are held responsible to help? Or are you that ant that stops and say, I'm going to help this other ant out. And that's part of being a good Samaritan. It is. Because there's a story in the Bible about the good Samaritan right. where the preacher, where everybody passes this one person, but the good Samaritan who comes along the way takes care of the person who's actually laying there dead in the street. Right. And he clothes him, takes care of him, and even pays Ooh. for him to stay. But it shows the power of being the awesome ant in this story. Right. And also, did you know the ants are in the Bible? Hmm. That's why we need to make sure we read in our word so yes. we can keep up with yes. what's going on. Yes. Okay, Mr. Ramsey, why don't you go ahead and read that? Uh, uh, Proverbs 6, 6 through 8, verse 6 through 8. So take so out your Bible. Seat. Take out your Bible, take out your iPad, your take out your phone. Listen, because we want you to look at what we're reading. It's important that you look at the Bible for you and you study and build your relationship with God right. just like what we're doing. Because this is how it works. We study, you study, we come together, have Bible study, and guess what? We learn the Word of God. So let's get it. Proverbs 6, 6 through 8. It says here, go to the ant, you sluggard, consider it ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer or ruler, yet it stores its provision in summer and gather its food at harvest. So think about this. The ant has no commander, right? no ruler, or no overseer, meaning God is expecting that responsibility 
on you. He's holding you accountable as that little end. Just like here, it shows here in the Bible what we're reading. It says here, no overseer or ruler and has no commander, but yet is stored with provision in the summer to gather its food of harvest. So gathering that food of harvest is the responsibility God has given that ant. And you know what really stuck out to me about this, this scripture? Yes. At the very beginning uh, for verse 6, it says, go to the ant, mm -hmm. you sluggard. Ooh. Now, Mr. Ramsey, what is sluggard? Let's pull this up. Let's pull up what sluggard Hold on, because you know Google's everything. Let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. On. Hey, Siri. Siri. Definition of sluggard. Sluggard means a lazy, sluggish person. Mm. Come on, Siri. Siri thank Siri. you, girl. Thank you, girl. Thank, thank you, Siri. Thank Look, you, cousin. This is, you know her? I know. I've been knowing her for a long time. So, that's my favorite part of it. Yes. It says, go to the ant. You sluggard, so you lazy person mm. that don't want to make up their bed, that don't want to brush their teeth, Ooh. that don't want to pay attention to school. Come on. But we know that's not our kingdom kids because our babies are we know. adhering we, to what we, their we, 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 we know. We know. Right. So it says, go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider its ways. Yes. And be wise. So that means just how we uh, like to follow our friends and do mm -hmm. what they do sometimes. Mm. Sometimes even when they're doing the wrong thing, we want to be like them. Ooh, ooh, that's just a word. Just like I consider their ways. Mm. It's telling God, the, the word is telling us to go to the ant, mm. consider the ant's ways. Mm. Come on and be wise. Ooh. Meaning. Hold on, I, you got to say that again now. Okay. Go to the who? Ant. And watch what? Their way. Woo! Yes, that is amazing. Mm, caliente. So we can... So we can learn from the ant. Yes. The Bible tells us to pick up the ways of the ant. And it's amazing. Work hard. Why would God tell us go look at ants? Why? Nobody, everybody overlooks them anyway. But that's why God is, that's why God is telling people, go look at you. Right. Because even though you feel like you're being overlooked, there is something God has placed in you that someone needs, just like these ants. Right. Mm. They be having broken legs Come and on. everything. People, Ramsey be done stepped on them. <laughs> and you see two of them. Oh, you a snitch. She's a snitch, y'all. She's telling all my business now. <laughs> and you see a little bitty ant mm. carrying another ant. Mm. Pay attention to them now. Go to the ant with them slugger ways. Listen. Okay? Yep. Consider them. Mm. Come on. I'm telling you. Kids, and be wise. Kids, it, it, it's so important. And especially through this pandemic, what all what everybody's been dealing with. Listen, stop blaming the excuse on someone else. Right. You take the responsibility for what right. you are doing and how you're behaving. Because if you're lazy at reading the word, lazy at praying, don't blame your parents. God is going to look at you. The same way he says, go look at those ants, look at yourself and see where you are because the responsibility and provision is on you. I know that's right. And you know, ants work hard. Yes, they, they do. They work hard to gather their food. They take yes. care of their babies. They take care of their wounded. Yes. And you know, hard work isn't something to be upset about. Hard work. God created us to work. I know yes. that I love to work because I yes. know that God created it. Mm -hmm. So how can you work in this week? Let's find mm -hmm. some ways that you can work. Let's see. Let's see. And if you're stuck on ideas, come, so let's listen. How can you guys work this week? Mm -hmm. Ramsey, do you hear anything? I think I heard Joey say something. You need to leave Joey alone. <laughs> Joey is working hard. Joey! Joey! Oh, he's right there. He's carrying bread across the room. Okay. Here's some ways. You just want to eat Joey bread. Fat. Here are some ways that you can work this week. Yes. Uh, could you possibly make up your bed mm. without being told? Mm. How about feed your pet? Come on. How about the dog you always wanted, you finally got it, and now you are misbehaving and mismanaging your dog. Right. Mm. What about putting away your clothes? Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, yes. Mm. How about mm. do your homework? Mm. Do your what? Homework. homework. <laughs> Trying to tell you. Wow. Those are great ideas. But when you do the work that's expected of you, mm -hmm. you make the wise choice and show responsibility. Mm. I know that's right. We say it in this way, mm -hmm. work hard, work hard, mm -hmm. work hard. Work hard, work hard, <clears throat> work hard. Now we wanna leave you with this message. Now that you hear the story of this ant, 
Now look at yourself and ask yourself, are you the lazy ant or are you the hardworking ant? Because at the end of the day, you both still have a responsibility, but you have to choose which one you feel like is the one that can help you be the best of right. who you are. And I believe, me, Miss Nastasha, believe that you are the hardworking aunt. Yes. Who is not sluggard, who is not a lazy person. Right. Who takes on the responsibility of what God has given you, and you're going to maximize, and you're going to expand that by handling your responsibilities. Because if you want the, if you want the big things, you got to be able to handle the small things. Right. Help your parents out. Yes. You know, you shouldn't have to, they shouldn't have to tell you to do everything. Mm -mm. If you know that when the morning comes and you have to get up, yeah. Go to school or even go to virtual learning. Get up early. Set your yeah. alarm clock. Set your phone. Yes. Go brush your teeth. Wash your face. Start making your breakfast if you can. Let your parents be shocked and amazed by you taking initiative to work hard. That is going to blow I like that. their minds. Let your parents be shocked and amazed so that you can get a raise. Oh, come on. That's good. And you know what, Mr. Ramsey? This is for us, too. Yeah. Uh, listen, we I'm should learning. definitely, definitely do something yeah. before God tells us to do you it. You know what, I'm glad I read this because yeah. now when I get into a lazy moment, I gotta think about the life of an ant. Come on. It's overlooked, but yet still work hard. Come on. So I, I, I love this message. It, I it's, do. It's, it's profound. It's telling us to work hard and always do our best. Yes. Yes, I love it. Mr. Ramsey? Yeah. Can you go ahead? Go ahead. And pray our babies out. Yes. All right, listen, this is what we want you to do. Bow your head which puts you in a form of humility. And close your eyes so that you're not distracted by anything around you. Right. And now we're gonna pray. And we're gonna say, Dear Heavenly Father, I just pray that today would be a new day that I continue to learn what it means to handle the responsibility you've given me. Whether it's small, going to big, or whether it's big, going back to small. But help us understand how to be just like the ants where no matter what they're going through, that they're there to support each other, love each other, grow with each other, and be the best that they can be at what you call them to do. So continue, God, to be with all the kids. Continue to be with me and Miss Nastashi. Continue to be with Kingdom Kids. And continue to be with all the parents that are engaged with their children watching this today, hearing this message that is so profound about these amazing aunt. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you would do the things that only you can do. In Jesus' name, everybody says amen. Amen. Good job, Brother Rams. Praise God. Oh, that was your Holy Spirit voice? That was the Holy Spirit voice. Praise God. Everybody say, Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, but in the meantime, we got to go. We will see you next week. So make sure you drop in the comments below. What did you learn from this? We want to connect with you. Email us, Nastashi at tkci.org, Ramsey at tkci.org. Tell us your story. Tell us what you've been experiencing through this pandemic, and we will see you guys soon. Love and don't you. forget, follow God. Love people. And change, change the city. city.